half to death. I can't turn my back for a minute. I know what that's like. My little guy was a real cadet at his age. Tony! Yeah. It's good you could meet me. No problem. I went over to Brookstone. I got myself a scare. What do you want to talk about? Fucking dick, Baron. Well, as long as the two of you are happy. I'm in no good. It's a freaking garbage business. I found out that both time wearing motherfucker is charging me twice as much as everybody else to tip my trucks at his place. So you pay the tonnage, and you charge your townships a little extra for the pickup, that's all. I've got the smallest amount of roots of anybody in the association. You know, you're like the old woman who's got a Virginia ham under her arm, and she goes around crying because she's got no bread. Never mind. The point is, your brother Jack, he never concentrated on sanitation, so what do you want him to do? I want a read. Uh, I'll see what he says. Yeah. You see, since you own part of the company. Shut all the lights? Yeah. In the kitchen? Yeah. I want to spend more time with AJ. It's the other one you should spend time with. She's almost out of the house. Hey, I'm not worried about Meadow. Meadow can take care of herself. Why the sudden burst of fatherhood? <sighs> can you say anything without it being sarcastic? You're right, I'm sorry. I think it's a good idea. He adores you. He never gets to spend enough time with you. Yeah, well. I was reading in time the other day to study at Harvard. Fatherly support is absolutely linked to a boy's later capacity to manage frustrations, to um, explore new circumstances, and to do well in school. Kid needs to toughen up. I'm not talking about toughening up. I'm talking about opening up. Somebody needs to teach that kid some street smarts. Not to be a sucker. Not to be involved with the wrong people. I don't want another Christopher on my hands. I mean, look at him. He's lucky to be alive. Another poor prick they found dead. Kid was 23 or something. Hey, pal, with the rum lotion. Put three cases of that in my car. Got it. That's not a mistake. No, I, I want another 14 gross of the model number 4784. Plastic picnic cooler. Just ship them. I'll worry about selling them. Bread. Fuck the bread sells. Put it in. Put that on the store tab. If he says take uh, three gross of the blue coolers, he'll give us a price of the red. Well, fuck that. He's never getting paid anyway. They gotta be all red. Yeah, just do it, please. Thank you. Goodbye. Look at chicken and puppies. I don't fucking work to move some picnic coolers. Coolers are like scissors. Everybody wants one. Nobody has a fucking idea how much they cost. You put a Nigerian out on the street. I'm gonna sell these for uh, a couple, three bucks a piece. Who's not gonna say, fuck it? Give me one. Baby, how we doing with that books of airline tickets? Want to raise a red flag with the travel agency? A sporting goods store charges airline tickets in bulk? say it's a promotional device you know customer of the year salesman of the month that kind of thing don't worry about it you put it on different lines of credit yeah but all of a sudden i'm ordering all this weird shit i mean picnic coolers ram also water when's one of these vendors gonna realize i'm never gonna pay him and call the cops well your fucking credit runs out diamond jim until then you want to fucking want an order unless you're ready to pay us the principal you owe us Hey! Put the heat up. Today! Oh, fuck. Fuck. What's the matter? Spider. So kill it. Ah, oh, you do it. Come here and kill the friggin' thing. No way. Oh, come on. There's a leaf, you friggin' idiot. Mister? Yes? Some man here to see you. Who? The police. 
Be right back. You let them in the house? Warren. Warren. How do you say it in fucking Polish? Agent Harris. Who's your friend? I'm Detective Harold G.R. Downer. From the Essex County Task Force. Well, pleased to meet you. But if you don't have a warrant, could you get the fuck out of my house? Because I'm kind of busy. I can see that. Oh, you're a comedian. Is that how you broke your nose? Tony, we could have phoned. We paid you the courtesy of a visit. I want you to come down to the station to talk. To talk? About Matthew Bevelacqua. Dad? Uh, AJ, take the back foot out of the cabana. I'll be down there in a couple minutes. Look, lawyer up. Come in one-on-one. -on -one. It's your call. Just name the time at your convenience. On your way out, you think you can roll the garbages down the hill? Tomorrow's pickup day. Let's go, Harry. Those are those FBI guys that were here before. What do they want? Look. Keep this between us, all right? You know your mother gets. Mm-hmm. Besides the night Tony captain of Avalaco, kid. What are you talking about? Did you fuck me? Did you fuck me? Take it easy. Take it easy? How about I put a bullet in that stupid fucking boss head of yours? He was spotted, Sal. So don't go pulling my taffy. Because as of this fucking second, if you lie to me, you will never see the streets where you live for 50 fucking years. Did you know about this? No. If you knew Soprano was planning something, and didn't tell me. And didn't wear a fucking wire. I told you no. Well, there was someone else with Tony the night he shot the kid up. A quote-unquote husky accomplice. Yeah? Yeah. But the witness couldn't ID him. Oh. Oh. Salvatore, were you the perp the witness couldn't make? What the fuck are you talking about? Are you crazy? what I fucking tell you, huh? No fucking violence. I would have burned you right now and let the judge throw away the fucking key. I'm going to decide to believe you, okay? But here's what you're going to do for me. I want to hear Tony's voice on tape, Sal, saying I killed Matthew Bevilacqua. No distortions, no throat clearings, no fucking nose blowings. Okay, okay, I get it, but let me ask you something. If I did ride with Tony on something like that, don't you think it would only get me tighter with him, raise my coinage, make Tony forget all his suspicions, you're a cute prick, puss. I'll give you that. Get me Tony on tape talking about this murder. So who's the witness? No joke, Sam. You don't want to see my darker side. Go. If they had enough to pinch you for, there'd be bars between us right as we speak. So why do they want me to go down there? Lock you into a story, any story. So later at trial, any contradiction, I'll sink you. Are we gonna go? Did you say you'd go? Please. All right. Procrastinate. Let me get our ducks in a row. In the meantime, keep your cool and go the speed limit. Don't give them an in. what did I just say? Don't give them an in. Are you all right, Tony? This is some bad shit here. What's up, Anthony? How did this happen? Midlife crisis? You can talk to me. The mother's last 